This video will go through how to use the quick graph tool from the physicsaviary.com. So as you can see here, we have two columns, our x axis, which would be our independent variable, and our y axis, the variable that depends on the independent variable. So you can type in your values here. So I can type in a coordinate and once I type it in, it then appears on the graph. So you can see here as I put more and more points in, my scales are adjusting accordingly to fit the data set that I have, which is kind of nice that it kind of scales things for you. Now, let's say I'm done plotting my data and I notice I have all this empty white space. I can adjust my graph by setting the axes because I don't have a value larger than five, either on the X or the Y in this case. I'm going to lower this number. I'm going to switch it to be a manually scale. And so by typing in my values, I can now manually adjust what my scale is going to be. The next thing I'm going to do is label my axes. So my x-axis for this, I'll just use time as my example. And by typing in here my variable and the units that it's measured in, that now appears on my graph. And same thing here, by titling this column, let's do position in meters. And so now I have my axes labeled. It automatically has labeled my graph. And I'm ready for the last step, which is to add a best fit line. So I'm going to click on curve fit and then I can based on the shape of the line pick out which one of these shapes best matches with how my data points look. And if I change my mind if I want to try a different one if I click it again it disappears. But I'm going to go with proportional here. You can also do y equals mx plus b. That's the linear equation of a line. Um, and in this case, the proportional and the linear are the same because the y-intercept is 0. So this is my equation of a best fit line. And this lets me know what the value of my slope should be. Now, I do expect you to show me the calculation for how to get this slope value. But this could be a good way to check what the value of the slope of your best fit line should be based on the fit that you have chosen. Now, while the slope of this line happens to be one, if you were to calculate your slope, you could also override the equation if you got a different number for your slope value and you could type that in and this will automatically adjust the line of best fit to match the slope that you have calculated. So that is a way you can adjust um, the best fit line that's drawn if your data set isn't perfectly linear. And so now this graph will be ready to screenshot. I'm going to undo that override because this is linear, so it should just be one for the slope. And so this is ready for you to screenshot and use. Being able to create a graph and then interpret it, so explain like what it's telling you, uh, is going to be a really important skill. What this graph is telling me that my change in position over a period of time is happening at a constant rate because my slope of this line is constant. This is telling me that my meters over seconds, my speed in this case, would be a constant value. So being able to understand what the graph is literally telling you uh, is going to be really important this year. So again, this is just telling me that the amount of position that I change every second is staying the same based on the shape of my line. 